Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So, I'm going to be moving once again, but I swear it's going to be the last time for a long while. After that, my schedule will be stable again. Also, I expect this move to be much easier than the last one, so by the time I post this video, it'll probably be a few days late, but I'm not going to disappear for three weeks again. Anyways, that's enough rambling, on with the video. Okay, so a while back, I made this trend match lock, and I haven't really had the chance to put it to good use. And typically, I avoid doing things that are kind of toxic but for some reason when i started stream today something inside me said let's go hunting just note that i am on arsha so it's free kill right oh oh <gasps> i'm not flight wait please come back Damn it. okay this time i'm not gonna mess up put on my gun i'm already flagged all is good and i'm ready take aim boom oh, hey there we go <laughs> i feel so evil oh it seems they're afk why didn't anyone tell me being evil was kind of fun. Maybe I'll keep doing this at the beginning of my streams every once in a while. Oh, and there he is. Boom. Gotcha. Oh, he's not AFK. We got a runner. Come back. I don't think he knows what weapon I'm using. If you confronted me, I would definitely lose right now. I'm actually really enjoying this. I think I'm going to have to upgrade my matchlock though. Oh, a friend. I'm still going to have to shoot you though. Damn it. I've been making sure to only go after people that are in safe-ish areas, and so far everyone's taking it pretty well. I think I might do this more often. You saw nothing. I feel as though when it comes to BDO, it's fairly easy to get consumed by constantly grinding for silver and the gear gains, which I'll say is enjoyable. <laughs> gotcha. It is enjoyable, I do enjoy the progress, however I haven't given myself enough time to just do random stuff for fun. Not that BDO isn't a fun game, it's a really- oh wait, this person's on their horse, we can't have that. There we go. All right, as I was- oh, oh no, they have guns too. Shit. Oh hey, Ryan is here. Hello, friend. I couldn't kill him with the gun, now he's after me. Wait, please, don't do it. <sighs> Deserved. So, over this past week, I've noticed that sometimes while I'm grinding, suddenly everything is going to freeze and everything rubber bands like crazy. I'm not sure if it's my internet. Um, I will be moving soon somewhere with better internet. So, that's a relief, I guess. However, if it's the servers, I'm a little bit nervous seeing as I've already lost quite a few crystals this way. I don't really want to risk losing even more silver, so if the rubber banding does continue, I'll probably just stop grinding for a little while and take a break until I move to my new place. Oh hey, what class is that? Oh, that was really fast. A tamer. I feel like it's rare to see tamers out grinding these days. It's pretty nice to see someone grinding on a class that they enjoy. It's a shame that her PvE is... That's a lot of damage. So this is actually what I was mentioning earlier, how everything would freeze and then suddenly rubber band. Any second, I'm either going to disconnect or everything is going to move really, really fast. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so, the Tamer Elementic is saying they're also lagging. I'm kind of curious how many people are going through this now. Personally, I haven't experienced anything this bad before, so hopefully it's only temporary and it gets resolved soon. Well, I'm going to stop grinding for now and I'll just call it and I'll start grinding again once I move. Recently, all the Awakening classes got a new skill, so I came to the BA to try to learn how to use it. It's a shame that it has collision on targets, so you can't use it to get out of sticky situations if there's things around you. However, between the damage, the crit buff, accuracy buff, and the evasion debuff, plus it has an iframe, it seems like it's going to be a pretty useful skill. I've been having a good time grinding with Awakening and trying to learn its PvP, so I'm really happy that it was given a new skill. Oh, hello friend. Something else that I personally really like is that it seems like they're trying to give Awakening flows the way Succession has flows. So you use a skill, then you hold another button, and then the skill procs. I feel like that's really cool. For now, I'm going to experiment with the skill and try to get some combos that I feel comfortable with. And once I get decent with them, I'm going to try to apply them in combos. And so far, the evasion down and accuracy up feel pretty nice for targets that have a bit more evasion. If I did have one complaint, however, for the new skills, that sometimes the distance that you go back isn't consistent. And at times you'll get the down smash plus you'll go really far away so you end up quite the distance away from your opponent. Although that's pretty minor and it doesn't always happen so overall I really like the new skill. Learning Awakening has been pretty fun and I'm looking forward to learning how to use this skill as well. Okay, somebody redeemed some points, it's time to tap some accessories. This time, I'm gonna go with distortions. I'm really close to getting my Vels so you know what, actually I'm gonna use Krons. I know it's probably really stupid to use Krons right now but I'm really close to getting my Vels and I don't want to lose too much money. Oh, hey, there we go. Nice. They keep giving us these crowns for free anyways, so I don't really mind. I almost have enough money to buy a Vel's Heart, but the price keeps going up, so hopefully I can catch up before the price maxes out. The price of Vel's Heart keeps going up really quickly, so I'm really hoping that I get carried on these boxes. Then I'll be able to buy it. Let's see. 500 mil. 
200 mil, 100 mil. Okay, that's pretty good. I have a few more. I really want to catch up before Val reaches about 13 mil. Oh, 600 mil, 800 mil. Nice. I think that should be enough money to get really close to it. Feels pretty good to be carried. I got two bills silver from those gold bars. However, Vels are priced at 10.5 bill right now, so I'm still missing some silver. So you know what that means. Yes. To be able to buy the Vels heart, I'm gonna have to get this a try. So hopefully we can get it tonight. Yes, easy. I can't decide if I wanna try to tap it to try. So Stream and I agreed that if I get a red drop from this Kudum, then I'm gonna tap it. And if I don't, then I'll just sell it at duo. I haven't been to Kudum in a long while. Whatever happened to that variant we were supposed to get? The chat is trying to argue with me saying that an aura is actually a rare drop. That, that wasn't a part of the deal. Nope, I'm not going to click it. <sighs> I can only blame myself. Earlier, I was talking about how I was rubber banding and lagging a lot. I actually, unfortunately, ended up losing an L car. So I'm going to be grinding Kratuga until I get one while I have a pre-order up. So hopefully I either get the pre-order or a drop. I have been getting lucky with other drops though, so that's nice I guess. As we all know, selling accessories at base is basically a sin, so I have to tap these. Hey, there we go. The last time the Jojo Bird was in the shop, I kind of regretted not getting it, seeing as a lot of people were saying it was really good, since even though it has a longer cooldown, it reaches much further and it increases your trash loot or something. Hmm, what are we gonna call this Jojo Bird? Joltaro. Perfect. So I know the subject of spending money on video is kind of a sensitive one when it comes to hey, when it comes to a lot of players. Personally, I have no issue supporting a game that I spend a lot of time playing. Oh, thank you. My only issue, not my only issue, but one of my issues is that you can spend money and this guy looks really cool. You can spend money and get nothing out of it. So gambling with pets is terrifying. I'm really, really happy that that ended up working. I'm gonna level up the pet and try to get an Elkar again. Bless the player that sold me this Elkar. Thank you. Don't get me wrong. I really do like grinding Kratuga. However, four spheres are hard to come by right now. And I'm also not, just not really in the mood to grind there. All right, well, that'll be it for this video. Sorry that it was a little bit shorter than usual. It was kind of tricky to get shots since I was lagging so much. However, my new place has much better internet. So once I move, things should be fine. Anyways, as always, thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye.